um, I wanted to film this because we want to get prepped for tomorrow. We're, we're rapidly hoping that we're going to start to produce panels and stuff. So I have history with um, making an animation, and there was division of labor. But back then, it was like two buddies, two bros. And so we had characters, and so I had this like monkey character, and he had a squirrel, and there were ones where we would produce boys and girls of like other animals and stuff. So what ended up happening is we went into like Microsoft Word and we just centered the thing and dictated this like whole huge scene and worked it out. And I didn't mind doing all the talking or whatever. He was like more about like the action when it came to like funny, quirky things, like violent things. So I ended up doing the script, but it's like different now. So the situation is you've got this man and this woman who've like moved into the computer. So you want the text to kind of be them talking about their plans, right? And you want it to be organic. So we want to spend today kind of figuring out the, the final format. We're hoping that this, this would be it, where it's like, well, you, we'd make the notepad the whole size of the screen and then um, go into the notepad and then put the thing over like at least seven tabs so that it's about centered and then have them just say what they want to say and then make the notepad file like as long as it needs to be. And then we could scroll down or whatever and insert them so that th the main frames or whatever are going to be of them just like that. But then if it ever gets to the point, we have to figure out like how many pages basically is that. So if the pages end up being hundreds of pages or whatever, there's not exactly going to be like animation to it. Um, at the get-go kind of but what ends up happening kind of is that the wife wants to network and make the thing potentially like a blog or like get people to, to share it to these other things like the husband doesn't um he does so much of the work on his own that it's like it's uh, um a labor or a tax for him to like write up something to just like sell somebody on joining a blog or helping out Right, the man doesn't want. In other words, like he knows how to sell if he's in the employ of somebody else in the storefront, and then he knows how to sell to a person casually, kind of if they're friends and associates. But if he's got connections who he like doesn't, he doesn't like to network in high volume unless he. The, the, um, it's like a lot of work for him to put out things and like wait for a response, and like maybe not get the response back. He's ultimately not afraid of getting rejected or whatever. It's just that he already feels like he's producing like a whole hell of a lot. And if she was better at like talking or whatever, she could do it. So there have to be kind of compromises sort of where, um, he can kind of get out of, get, open up his comfort zone, in like particular areas and write things, it, he's trying to find the resources is what it is. He's saying, it's like, well, no, like it would be good if, you know, your friends were more my friends or that we had stronger connections with friends. He just doesn't know why he doesn't have the resources to do it. He just assumes that he's tapped out doing all this other stuff. So what's going to happen is when we actually get the thing out, you're going to get like a real organic conversation between a man and a wife. And, um, if the thing, like we said, it could potentially be hundreds of pages. So even this becomes a thing because they're going to talk about like, well, should we produce this? Right? Because to produce the thing more heavily, you have to look at it and be like, well, you could make a GIF that somebody could read where they actually moved their mouths and stuff. And it would incentivize people to like read the text and you could send it out to people because you can do even like a 2000 frame animation with freeware software. But the thing has to be executed. So if he, they've got the, the um, sprites or whatever themselves off on deck or whatever, they can have like a regular standing position, but then they can like move eyes to indicate who's talking or the thing can scroll down. Um, they don't know who the base is. It's like tough to do like a demo. You usually want to do as, as few things as possible. So what you imagine is like, well, to even get them get the conversation or whatever at the beginning is going to be a significant feat to see what they actually say and what their demands are and what their hopes and dreams are or whatever, that you might not really go in and like animate because the main thing that ends up happening is like their eyes um, are looking forward. 
So she ends up having pink pupil pupils and he has teal pupils. So when they're looking forward, they're looking at this angle right here. So there's like red or like a dark that's like on the outside. But um, so when the person's talking, then they have their pupils. So like she's talking, there's like pink here, but then there's like crimson here. Okay. But anytime she's talking, he's looking so that he ends up putting his like teal crimson there and then teal crimson there so that he's looking in this direction. But then when he ends up talking, then rather than her looking straight this way, she looks this way. So in other words, you can have it where they never look cross-eyed or they never look um, autistic or dwarfish or like anything where it's like they can have two pixels that are like that and like two on the outside and they look good. But then you can also have them look left and right in the field. And it applies whether they're at this angle or that angle or there's like a straight on angle. So it's like a really good dimension. So she'll talk or whatever, and then he'll talk. That's the, the main thing. So you, we kind of just want the mouth to be like black and white when, when they go, and then the eyes to switch. So there's one that's just going to be like talking like that. And then when they stop and then the mouth rests with like teeth open or whatever, then the other one would go, and then the eyes would switch. That's like all the animation that you, that you want. That's if you're thinking you want to get someone to read something because – it's tough for someone to like read online with memes. So you want to produce like a high volume meme. You want them to kind of, kind of get invested in like these graphics and think that they look cute and good because it's like, if the text that they end up doing is so much bigger, it's like the real thing that ends up happening is like what they're going to talk about is that, well, we'd rather have our voices recorded, but not have, these scenes in final production because anytime we have to render the things in pixels we have to be um at least nine times bigger than any of the things for anybody to see what we're saying and then they always want to discriminate and say that we're not like cute or whatever we're not rendered at like high volume and then they don't want to watch but if they could see us in the field or whatever they would want to see it it's like that's kind of what, what the thing is like the real thing is like the, the production is significant. So they're going to be talking about like a lot of things, but what it is is that their concerns or whatever. So if they're coming to me and I'm their agent, then the way that I look at this is like, well, you need funding kind of, and you need an interest group because um, in other words, like if the wife came to me in confidence or they both came together, like she's going to be primarily talking, right? Cause we say that she's the talker. And um, I'd be like, well, what's going on? And she'd say, well, my husband is like hugely talented. Sorry, it's like really dark in here. Um, and he's got all the stuff on the video games, but he's and he's not exactly afraid, but we don't know. Like we want to make these things like, more um, profitable or whatever. And we've got a lot of concerns. It's like, what is he working on? It's like, well, he does these pixel um, ones, but he's broken. So you go through the whole thing. And like the main thing is that, they end up having babies, like a, a baby machine kind of is for the pixel thing. Like they've incorporated the division of labor inside the computer. So eventually they, when they want to, they want to develop the game that they have to the fullest, right? But then what they want to do is up the ante. Like every time they would up the ante, they, they would like make a new couple or new babies to the point where eventually they'd end up having games where the sprites were generated within the womb so that they ended up having like protective custody. Like what the observation that they say is, well, what happens is you end up having like one or two artists that do concept art, but then they don't create like a genealogy or anything. If it's like Mario, then it's like, well, yeah, there's probably like private lays as well as just like friends that so there's not always need to be like coitus or whatever that like um, creates any of the things. But if you want the games to be more realistic and potentially for um, the adults to play them, even if they're at lower graphics, as long as the thing, it doesn't matter. Like you could, you could sell them on cars. The thing could basically explode if there was like one or two developers, if they were developing for the kids, right? If the whole object of the game was, in other words, like she thinks that they're fun, but, um, so if it's like a baby machine or whatever, then it's like there are ways where you could potentially portray the characters having sex in ways that weren't illicit, but that like incentivized actual like procreation and stuff. So you end up having this like box or whatever. And um, the, so, so she went on to be like, well, the longstanding thing you wanted to do 
was to make a, um, a video game where there was like Jesus, but he said like anytime he'd seen anything where there was like a Bible or anything, which is like really low and crummy production, but like I know he's a good artist, so um, I want him to do it, but he's been sitting around. So she gets, in other words, there's this tug and there's this like play where it, it's like, if he wants to make the thing too holy or whatever, she's like, well, it's never going to sell. But then if um, she'll suggest things that are crass that she doesn't exactly want him to do just to get the ball rolling, where it's like, you got to find like a medium where it's like the real life thing have to be deal with adults and job situations and money and economy and like discussions of resources so that if you allow the people to build in the game or if there are obstacles or have to be like more realistic things, um, that, that's like a huge thing for them. Right. So that like, there's another storyline where again, it's like, the, there's like a lot of stuff, but he, he also has, um, this saturation thing where he's figured out that it's like the computer is using this like spec, which is 256, but you can code it as 252 because there's like docking points and there's like graded sets of penetration from one field into another. So what he imagines kind of is, well, you would want to, um, if you could organize the thing, you'd want there to be one land where like all of the, the all the field was blue and one where all was green and one was all was red and then one was all um like buck gray doe gray black and white that'd get that gets you seven and then one where it was like all olive all purple all verdant that gets you 10 and then there's um teal yellow and pink that gets you at least 13 but there's like somehow there's like 16 because there's like the three primary colors they're dark ones that gets you six and then six and ten with the black and white but then um there's the teal ones or like the the, the, the high primary and the low primary that gets you another six so you get 16 right so that's basically what what, what he's thinking is like well you want to make like a nation or whatever on the 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 computer where you're saying, well, if there's 16 colors, um, there could be 16 fields, but there could only be penetration of 15 within the other one. So he's thinking that there's like three continents basically. He's like, well, there's like the black and white continent that's got like four, but then there's like the primary continent that has six because they have six high and then, or three high and then three dark. And then there's like the secondary continent that's got three high and three dark, right? So that you'd go into one folder and there'd be like four fields and then you'd go into like another folder and there'd be six fields and you'd go into another one and there'd be six and there'd be all of them. And that somehow you want to create like a set where it, there's like zero penetration, so like triple zero over 252 and then it goes to max penetration, which the last one in the sequence would be um, 252 over zero. So you, you count every pixel as a whole thing and you you would count up the stages of penetration and actually subtract it from the total so that rather than keeping the de denominator set, it's like you'd get junctures of the denominator um, de decreasing and the numerator increasing so that when you hit 50-50, it's 126 over 126. But then after 50-50, it starts transmuting into like time and sense because then in the numerators, you end up getting funny things where it's like 99 Right, so it's about like, or like, potentially like 99, but if it's like not 99, it's like 92 and 96, and then you end up getting like a 60 thing and like a 30 thing, and then finally a zero thing. So that you can end where it's like the total end, right? So that what would happen is like, let's say you started in like the black and white land or whatever. Well, you would have a set that would contain the left and right sequence and like a baby or something a baby card because what would happen is you would run the um the numeric code because you have to have like a bar and like drivers and different other things so that it would be like a symbolic thing and then you'd end up showing the actual swatches and then you'd have like babies that were like homogenous like the same ones that would go through and then you'd also have like di dividers because the way that it works is it's like it's potentially 15, so there's like six and then a break, and then three and then a break, and then six and a break. Okay. 
so that if you get the thing correct, it's like 17 across. So it's like a row of 17 of numbers, a row of 17 of swatch, a row of 17 of um, the baby, and then a row of 17 where the baby penetrates through. So when it's at zero um, penetration, the effect is like, well, um, the field is completely covering it. So if the object was always to save the baby, if the person like located the baby, but they were completely co covered in white or completely covered in uh, buck or doe or black, then if like if they could shake the baby or whatever, then it's like all the stuff would fall off. And so like as the baby penetrated through the field, like all the pixels would fall off and then you get the baby and the baby wouldn't die, right? So he could be completely covered in coal or completely covered in like, um, newspaper or like completely covered in like um, flour or completely covered in like smoke because there was like a fire in the house but you rescued the baby right and so if you could see the sequence or whatever then at the end he could like hold up the baby right but the funny thing about it is like you have to view it from the point of view of the field so you're in the land where there's like four of these colors so the zero over 252 would be whatever one it is. So it would be like white or it would be the two grays or it would be black. But then technically speaking, you have to like move that block, which is in like 17. So it's at least 17 by four, right? But it might be 17 by five, but we're thinking it's about 17 by four. And you have to say, well, you, you want like all 15 colors to go before you would cut out the baby in the situation. Because if you make the second color... Um, like let's say it's olive is the one that's penetrating through white. Well, um, if, if you just show it or whatever, then it's like, well, yeah, you'll just see it'll get more and more and more and more olive. But if um, you want to actually cut it, then what you're saying is you, you dock like um, olive as the, the cutout color, and then you'd lay it so that you'd see a little bit of the baby. In other words, like if it's um, just a procedure to get the baby cut, technically speaking, it doesn't matter what it's being cut in. It could be an olive, it could be crimson, it could be whatever it is. But um, from the point of view of introduction of swatch, when you get into like different environments or whatever, it matters a great deal because there are instances where the image is like static or whatever, or you have to construct them. So then when you end up moving from like the black and white set to the primary color set, then it actually becomes more interesting because you do blue, right? And so it's like very feasible when you, when the first one that you actually construct or whatever is um, the blue is the field and green is the one that's being cut, which is, which is nice because it's like the baby was driving in green and then also it's like they, they use blue and green screen. So you didn't exactly know, but then the thing develops and then what ends up happening is like, um, you, you end up cutting it out. So then when you cut it out, the way you look at it is like, well, you could say that like the first six would be like a flood situation because it'd be so heavy on water or whatever that it's like th they might not get out. It'd be like urgent, but then the ones in the middle could be like consistent rain and then the ones would be like rain coming on. So if you started at the end of the sequence and you wanted there to be rain, it's like they've done a lot of work with um, like strobing pixels, but it's like if the scale of the thing is too big then it just doesn't sell or if they're not creative so you have to have like the right soundtrack and the right situation where they can strobe sets of pixels so if they're lazy and they just use 126 over 126 and they just go back and forth and flip it it's like you're never going to believe that that's like real water and if it doesn't move you're not really going to believe it's real water except for certain situations but if it's like falling in sheets and then furthermore it's like if when it falls in sheets you allow there to be lines it's like well it doesn't matter we can just show also like crosses in between it as long as it falls at the right gradient and then if the environment was like pooled or whatever you could make it where there would be areas where you could see the runoff there's like a lot of development which they haven't done is basically what it is there hasn't been someone who's taken all of the swatches because it's like it's only if there's like literally like a baby or whatever that it like would potentially be a situation so that's one of the things that we come up with is like well potentially what could happen is like you could save a baby or like carry a baby through an area where there was like water and avoid areas where there was um, like ponds so that you'd want to create an environment where it'd be side scroller from the point of view of it would go left to right, but it would always go from like upper left to bottom right. So like the bottom quadrant um, in the left could be like a pause zone or something and you could still have things be like high or low 
but you kind of want real terrain. So what you're saying is, well, we haven't stolen anything from Super Mario 3D or um, Sonic 3D, those games, but it's like a similar sort of thing where we have like particular specs and we have a box. So we've, we, we've made crosses and stuff, but then what we realize is like, well, the cross actually could be the shape of a cube that's opened up. So you could have a box that like unfolded and then like laid down. So potentially somebody could like get in a box and that could be like a means of them traveling to another location or whatever. So you're starting to see where it could be fun and people could play it, but then it becomes challenging because like once they look, they want to say it's like, well, can we optionally say that there could be a smoke, a water, or like a light solid situation that could transmute into like any of them where you'd have to save the baby from the thing and it'd be successful. So with the, the four black and white ones, we pretty much came up with ones. It's like, well, yeah, there could be newspapers, there could be um, flour, like we said, there could be coal, there could be like any number of things, right? And then we said with the blue one, it's like pretty obvious that it could be water. And then when you look at the green one or whatever, it's like, well, it could potentially be like pot smoke or something, but it'd be really funny because um, there's not standing fires for like pot smoke there'd have to be like a bong and like supervision so if you have like a genealogy of uh, like abraham through like joseph or whatever and you have that like docking and like supervised and like all these things then you know individuals where it's like well there's like downey jr and stuff it's like some people are going to be dumb and make stupid decisions but it just has to do with well yeah it's, it influences like neural mapping and things but if there's like love in the environment it's not gonna help so if the baby is conceived where there's like marijuana or whatever, and then they blow it in the baby's face, it actually, actually doesn't screw them up. It screws them up when there's like poor culture in the areas and then they get like tied seemingly to locations. But as long as there's that's not the case, then it's like, it could be funny, but there wouldn't be like a disaster. So you could still imagine a situation, in other words, like there's not always a situation where the baby's in peril and you have to save the baby. There could just be a funny situation. So there'd never actually be a situation where it would like rain um pot smoke or something that doesn't make any sense and it wouldn't sell but there could be a local environment with the swatch where it went from low intensity to high intensity and then from high intensity to low intensity so you could show somebody like get high on film or something and it like wouldn't be a big deal and actually it doesn't need to be the baby if you didn't want it could just be one of the adults so potentially you're like well yeah the green could be that but then you move into red and you're like well what could red be and it's like Red's where it gets funny because you want to build games that are entertaining where, like, they don't exactly die. And in fact, even Mario and some of these things, they could have chosen, instead of them getting, like, die, dying or whatever, they ran out of time or they got punched, but they're like, well, you lost. And it's like, he could have, like, put his head down or been like, well, I guess I gotta go back to the main menu. And then they could, like, pick up the set and put it on wheels and, like... <laughs> And then he could go back to the main screen. Like, you could actually have conservation where you lose objectives based on, like, a time criteria, not fulfilling it, or even getting hit, but, like, not drawing blood. And then the set being carted away and you having to go back to the main level. So because of that, and also for the reason that in most of these instances, if you're conveying that the field is the starting color and the person's breaking through the field, you don't exactly want to see, like, a baby covered in blood or something. So you don't want to reverse it and say that like the baby's the field and the blood's penetrating through because then the, you'd, you'd have killed the baby. It's like, we're not gonna do that. And you don't wanna put the baby, like we said, in the blood. So it could be like ketchup or something. But what you find kind of is like all of these things that you have to kind of construct your, your most funny um, scenario of like some medium that could pull the thing off. And like how localized would it be? Would it come from the heaven? Would it come from like a source? Is it like a fire extinguisher? Like, what is it? a bottle of ketchup anything so that you can come up with like the levels and then you want to look and say well if you've had um fields where it's going to be like that it's what it kind of means is like there's potentially like a nature situation where in one area of because what you want to do is say okay well the forest green is like the most utile to cut out in so um in areas that we're doing, like that's the background and stuff, okay? And so because that's the background, that if you haven't drawn like a hill or something, then they're just, well, they must be in a field and there's like grass and stuff and it's like not a big deal. But um, potentially like there could be something where you might want to show somebody like walk on water or be in a boat and therefore there would be water 
right? And you'd have the flood situations, like it doesn't need to like rain. And then there might actually be like a red situation. Like you kind of want to, to trust in what the computers produced on saturation rather than going in and trying to make proprietary lava or like proprietary this, that, or the other. You'd say it's like, well, there's like a mathematical equivalent, so it would tend to hold. So if you could find the right transitions or you could name the lands correctly, then you could make the majority field situation any of those. Well, it also means it could be the dark ones, right? Because like it could just be like wallpaper or the floor, right? It's like it doesn't always have to be like an element. But then there would be the three dark ones like we talked about. And then there would be the, the teal ones or the secondary ones we're talking about, right? And they have the high ones and the low. So there would be like a, a land where it was like all yellow and a land where it was all teal and all pink and then all purple and then all olive and then all verdant. And then you get like all of those. So they want to develop all of them is what it is. And then what they want to do is say like, well, then after we've developed all of them, then we want the characters to discuss like an upgrade kind of where they're potentially in pre-production or they've made some levels and they're like, well, because what could happen is potentially those things could get into the game or you'd buy the game and like, or it would be in a sequel. It doesn't matter. It doesn't, you don't know. But um, the idea is like, well, we want an upgrade because what happens is like the skin tone of anybody when you reduce it to 16 colors is the same. They're just in different proportions. So that when you do minimum criteria, everybody has doe skin and then they're cased in olive, but then there's also um, crimson. It's like mandatory. They get it. Now, if the characters were bigger, they might have high points in white and then dark points in black, but it doesn't matter. It's like, that's what everyone gets. So because of that or whatever, what it means is that um, the computer un weights unusually, like which of the 256 colors get into which. So um, of the of the ones, right? So you want to kind of render the entire thing in 16 colors and then have them like discuss how they like it. And then um, especially where it gets kind of weird is like they're, they're going to want to spend a long time on it because when you find out that there's not really um, like a mathematical or like an objective orange, what it means is like between certain shades, the mind can process more colors based on like weighted values of things. It's like not a big deal, but they, they, they want to wait like a really long time before they change skin tone or anything. Cause like when it holds like this, it's like not even like black people end up getting buck skin. It's like the primary thing is like dough. And then it's like, you only see the buck, the black or the white when the thing is blown up super high, but they end up, it's like, you want to keep the equality of it. But then if they want to make more kids, they move on to another project. So they're basically, they want to make like a whole land kind of that they can occupy and do things in. And where there's like obstacles but and like pads and like houses and stuff and they want to talk about it, right? And then they want to sort of like present the thing. So it's like you can like install a lot of stuff in, but what tends to happen is like, well, we... we there's like schedules of things and like this can kind of serve as like a loop potentially, but um, we have really high hopes for this basically. Cause it's like a whole new entry in it. And there's like all this like supervision we te and the spec is like potentially right. Cause like once we've settled on like maxing up the notepad thing to the whole screen and then figured out like how many tabs that go over and how big we need to blow them up then we can like basically edit the script so we can like kind of flesh out anything that we want and then edit them to get the best panels and then like chart the success based on like weak blocks and things so that it would be a more fruitful year this year to like be, to, 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 to like build this stuff because you, you sit on a lot of things and you work on like a lot of stock but then it's like it's kind of like sitting there, sitting there, sitting there. But now that like there's kids and like they want land and stuff and you don't want to make arbitrary villains, you want to make the things more inventive, there's really high hopes. So we are happy about this and we want to keep this around and use it as like a means of getting the first panels out and then see like um, what gets produced because whether or not or like at what point that we like start a blog to try to send the thing the tough thing that happens is if i can like wrap this up is 
Um, the reason that we characterize the guy as like not exactly wanting to spill the thing, but the woman wanting to spill the thing is like when the relationship is um, strong and there's like a lot of neighbors or there's potentially partying or like platter situations like cheese and like wine and things. There are like times where it's appropriate to like gush when something isn't like pre-production. Because like anytime that you like share something that's in pre-production or whatever, like the person that the, the, um, they're interested because like a lot of people aren't producing in those things, but they can only retain it for like a certain amount of time. So the husband's not exactly afraid that somebody's gonna like steal what they're doing, but if the expectations get really high and then it takes longer to do things in production, it's like you don't want to wreck a present. Right, so there are times where you can give peaks about something that is going to be like revealed at like a date or something and get people excited. But if you share too much or whatever, you, you might be behind on something and like not get it done. Right, so um, that's like kind of it or whatever. That's kind of the video. All right, so we're just gonna try, like wrap things up and then get prepared for working on the thing tomorrow and then try to be you know more consistent about, well, no, like doing things at home, prepping things at home, working at scripts at home, and then like performing or executing the things at the library like two days a week. Cause like we pretty much did that and then we went like overboard and did like more Right, so we, we, we've we logged more than two days every week, but there have been one or two dry weeks because in the weeks that we've gone all in. So like, we don't just like, we're not gonna like kill ourselves or whatever. We're gonna try to, to do that and just like ease into it. And then, you know, just um, have faith that we'll just keep trucking along and this, this, thing will, um, this thing will get made and stuff.